pretty exciting announcement about a new partnership here at the Port of Long Beach. So let's take it away. I'd like to introduce the CEO of YDV, Salim Yusuf Zedeh. Salim. Good morning, everyone. First of all, good shout out to you guys for coming out at 8 a.m. So really great turnout. Happy to have you guys here and happy to share with you uh, what we're working on in Long Beach. Um, so as you know, YDV uh, is a company that's building out public charging infrastructure for Class 8 heavy-duty trucks. Uh, we had our announcement of our Bakersfield site last year with the groundbreaking ceremony happening in December. But uh, today we're very happy to announce our latest site in the Port of Long Beach. This is a 1.2 acre site located right inside the port location that will allow us to install over 30 plus chargers and 8 MCS chargers in the future which would allow us to charge the Volvo that you have behind us uh, as well as many of the other electric trucks that are uh, coming out in the days to come. Um, on the uh, first phase of the site, uh, this will be operational by the end of this year with 20 plus uh, charging ports uh, graded at 150 kilowatts so each of those dispensers are going to be 360 kilowatt dispensers and uh, that will allow for charging uh, the, uh, over CCS for the, the electric trucks and then as MCS becomes available it allows to do rapid charging. Obviously this is going to be one of many sites. Uh, I can't be happier to uh, thank uh, Port of Long Beach, particularly Mario, uh, for leading this effort and, and really helping this uh, site happen as well as the folks at Southern California Edison. Uh, this site will be powered predominantly through uh, Southern California Edison's utility, so we, we're very grateful that they're able to give us the power that we need for this site and help us towards the expansion for the full phase of this site. Uh, Wadibi's vision is to go well beyond uh, the port locations. This is one of many on our plans to electrify the entire corridor going from Southern California to Northern California, and this is going to be the, uh, the starting point of that location. So we're very happy to announce that. And we've got many other sites on the in the pipeline to come, so I'm looking forward to sharing those as uh, as we get more solid, uh, more solidified on those sites. Uh, with that, I want to welcome Mario Pernover to uh, head of the port to say a few words. Mario, thank you, Salim. And um, many of you who I recognize some faces here. Uh, it's not too long ago that we were here on these premises talking about alternative fuel. And at that time, we were talking about LNG. And here we are now in 2022. And looking at a sign that's here that I saw, the future is here. And it's an amazing progress of what we've been able to do, not only in terms of alternative fuel, but years past, we've talked about reducing emissions. Today, we're talking about eliminating emissions, at least as it relates to truck transportation. So it's a great honor to be here and share uh, this event with uh, YDB. And the proposal here that's before us is the beginning of what this future is. And as you may know, the Port of Long Beach partnered with the Port of Los Angeles in 2017 to update the Clean Air Action Plan. And that plan, I believe, is the most aggressive clean air action plan in terms of, again, it's not about reducing emissions, it's about eliminating emissions. The most aggressive plan, perhaps, in the country and even in the world. We've been able to reduce particulate matter by 90%, sulfur oxides by 97%, and NOx by 62%. And now, of course, as we move forward, we're going to continue our quest to just eliminate emissions. And what we have here today, as Salim referenced, is the beginning of the infrastructure, stealing from, obviously, the cliche from the field of dreams, build it, and they will come. Putting in this infrastructure, and the zero emission trucks will come. It's been a long road, but it's been a quest that, again, is not only a socially responsible quest, as far as port authorities, but in terms of our sector of transportation goods movement, it's a goal that we've all had for quite some time. And the Port Long Beach continues to partner with our regulatory agencies, uh, South Coast, the Air Quality, uh, 
local air quality AQMD. Just recently, we partnered with them on the Jet Sea program, which essentially the port will contribute $1.5 million, again, to promote a transition to zero emission. <clears throat> and recently, excuse me, recently we received $2.5 million from the California Energy Commission for infrastructure, again, the transition to zero emission trucks. And last, a very important issue for the Port of Long Beach in terms of that grant was moving forward with our community electric vehicle blueprint, which sets out the roadmap in terms of what the Port of Long Beach has such an energetic program to transition to zero emission. And of course, there's also the potential of the uh, Volkswagen environmental settlement monies. And so it's a number of opportunities for our partnerships with the regulatory agencies, our partnership with the private sector, like the one that we're here this morning. It's an exciting event, not just for the Port of Long Beach, it's just not just for the region, not just for the state of California, but for the nation that we continue to lead in the quest for climate change uh, related endeavors. And in this particular case, again, something that the community really appreciates, this transition to zero emission. And the last thing I will say is many folks out there would love to see us go to zero emission like tomorrow. Uh, obviously, it's still a long road ahead, but you can see by today's announcement here that we're on the road to complete our quest. So for those of you who uh, have been working so hard and partnering with us, again, a sincere appreciation on behalf of the Pearl Long Beach and with uh, the Act Expo. Again, thank you so much for choosing this venue here in Long Beach to continue the quest of the Greek port that was announced back in 2005, a move to make sure that we're socially responsible in terms of what we do in reducing emissions. And like I said, the quest of eliminating emissions. Thank you so much for this opportunity.